I'm Bobo the Vulture, and this is Liberal Crime Squad. You guys know Liberal Crime Squad. I don't know how long I'll be able to play tonight, because uh, I got the house to myself, which is nice in one respect, but in another respect, at any moment, things could be completely derailed by a little baby Bronco. Plus, I gotta get to bed at a reasonable hour, because regardless of what I do in my life, he will wake up at about 6 a.m. He's got a surprisingly good internal clock for being just shy of a half year old. Anyhow, you go into some of these small towns, the jobs have been gone for now for 25 years and nothing's replaced them. It's not surprising then, they get bitter, they cling to guns or religion. Remember when Barack Obama said that and everybody thought it was this enormous, out of touch gaffe? And, uh. Yeah. Wow, Maxwell Damage is actually getting some first-hand experience from content ma with content matching. I'm guessing on the other end, you have a uh, you have a, a music uh, you you have some varieties of pieces of music that uh, people are going out there and possibly sampling or just reproducing on their own out in the middle of nowhere. Either that, or you guys sampled something. <laughs> Either way. Uh, I turned off the music by pressing M because it was not in the past that has caused some real problems with uh, audio and screen viewing and really everything. I'm not sure why Music and Liberal Crime Squad was doing that, but it was. In what world will you pursue your liberal agenda? Enter a name for the save file. Oh, did it erase my old save? I guess it must have. Uh, let's go ahead and call it Destroy Mass Media. Classic mode, no conservative crime squad, we didn't start the fire. A hazard. The group plays 20s and 30s traditional jazz with a banjo. Oh, people steal that because they think that it is public domain. Maxwell damage. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna come right out and say it. Like for a game like this, I would consider in my own mind it'd be nice to just put together a classical soundtrack. The uh, the music that is in this version is all like old, d timey public domainy music, uh, but it wouldn't be the music that I would have selected. Um, but, you know, if, uh, you just go and just, like, grab a recording that was made, you know, like, five years ago, ten years ago, of, uh, you know, a piece from the 1800s, uh, the performance, the, the rights to the recording of that performance are still owned by somebody, unless they, uh, gave it up. But people think, oh, well, because it's before the 20s, you know, it's in the public, like, the piece is from before the 20s, and it must be in the public domain. Anyhow, let's see here. It's classic mode, no conservative crimes cog. We didn't start the fire. CCS is active and extremely strong. Nightmare mode, liberalism is forgotten. Is it too late to fight back? Let's go with, uh... We didn't start the fire. I'll leave National LCS out of this, and I will leave Marathon Mode out of this. We're just going to go with a relatively standard-ish game. Press any other key. No compromise. Classic. Most laws will be must be elite liberal. Some can't be liberal. We'll go ahead and do no compromise. Classic. Although, eventually, that's just going to get into a waiting game. It also means that definitely this game won't end tonight unless it ends in failure. I'm half expecting this to end in failure, folks. Um, fast skills, grinding is conservative. Sure. Hazel, I'm upstairs. Hazel's downstairs meowing a bunch. Like, she, she, she can tell that there's a light on upstairs. She has to be able to. Uh, history, let me choose. I have no problem with the name Sambor Willet. Into being a dude. 
had a song that was famously put into public domain the same year it was written and released because two bands came out with a recording of what sounded like the same song in such a short time period, the courts just didn't want to deal with arguing the rights and ownership. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, no, like, if you're a group and you can make good use, like, if if I were a, a musical group, like, that would be a, a thing that I would be interested in figuring out. I mean, as it is, I'm interested in figuring out, like, I mean, there are programs that you can get to, well, let's go ahead and choose my history. Uh, press any other key to begin. But, uh, there are programs where if you can, like, put in, you know, if you have access to the sheet music, there are ways that you can just just program in a full, you know, score, and it'll barf out, like, a, a MIDI or something. Um, but let's see here. The day I was born in 84, we will say was the third anniversary of the assassination attempt on Ronald Reagan. I don't know what all of these do. But livery stable blues and barnyard blues. Well, of course. I mean, they're almost the same place. <laughs> when I was bad. Let's see. Father lectured you endlessly. Parents ground you. I'm going to say I got beat. Elementary school. I had a lot of repressed anger and hurt animals unruly and fought with the other children mischievous and always up to something uh, I gotta go ahead and say that uh, I was unruly and fought with the other children Let's see. When I turned 10, divorced, violent, acrimony, divorced lawyer, still hurts, treat my old diary. Let's say it was violent. Today is going to be about violence. Played violent video games at home. Well, okay. Obsessed with swords, started lifting weights. Playing violent video games. Nah. I started playing with swords and lifting weights. And things got really bad. Stole his first car, went to live with dad. Went completely goth. Religious counseling. Tried being a teacher's assistant and it just made me a target. I went to live with dad and he was still from Nam. Yeah, I mean, I've 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 never gone through. I've never really looked under the hood of Liberal Crime Squad. Things that you can sort of uh, deduce from the basic game mechanics, and things that Grimp has told me over the you know time or two. Um, but let's see. I knew it had reached a crescendo. I hate this. Apparently, it's to the point now where yes, crescendo. Crescendo. I'm used to thinking of as a musical term, which is not a singular point. A crescendo is a dramatic swell over a period of beats, measures, whatever. Um, but now people just use it as the end of the thing. <laughs> Went completely goth and bought all the fedoras. It'd be great, then your uh, entire um, your entire inventory would be full of hats. Let's see. He would have reached a crescendo when stepmom shot her ex-husband, my dad with a shotgun, tried wrestling for a quarter, got caught making out, cured, resorted to controlling people, stole a cop car. Let's do more of this gun violence. Started robbing houses, hung out with thugs, beat the shit out of people, got a horrible job working fast food, smiling as people fed the man. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Volunteered for a left wing candidate. It wasn't real though, you know. I started robbing houses. Sure, rich people only. That's fine. Wait, do I want to rob houses or do I want to beat the shit out of people? I don't know, man.
let's rob houses. Get some security. Uh, life went on. On my 18th birthday, I bought myself an assault rifle. For the past few years, I've been corporations, a violent criminal, taking college courses, surviving alone, writing my manifesto. <laughs> Team Fortress 2, an inventory full of hats. You can find the daintiest of them all. We need some skills that aren't fighty. We probably do. But I'm just going to go ahead and, it's, it's for experiment's sake, we'll say. I'm going to go ahead and do all of the fighty bits. President Doug Duke. President Duke has asked the new Congress to move quickly to rubber stamp his radical arch-conservative agenda. Commandment. Conservative President Larry Bennett ends his second term with approval ratings in the high 70s and is succeeded by hardcore arch-conservative Doug Duke. Okay. Commenters, commentators are hailing it as the beginning of a new conservative era. What is my name to the people? I'll be known by my real name. That's fine. Hey, look at my gang. I have a gang. I didn't realize that that's what that was going to do. So let's take a look at what's going on. Okay, I already have four recruits. Uh, I have martial arts skills, rifle skill. You guys have some rifle skill. That's good. You are wanted for assault already. Then the Duke, po <laughs> that the Duke president, put us in a whole heap of trouble. Rob has a juice of negative five, even though he's wanted for assault. All the rest of my buds, well, not all the rest of them, several of the rest of my buds are wanted for assault. Francine has negative five uh, juice, has a strong sense of religion. I have a strength of 11 and an agility of 9. I do like the uh, starting bits for this character. Uh, I have high heart, low wisdom. I'm pretty dumb, but uh, that's okay. Rob Lombard is apparently going to be the, uh, the brains of this operation. Now then. Tom McDonald has a 38 revolver. Felicity Hall has a 99mm semi-auto. She has some dodge skill. That's good. Who is good at dodging? We will need to know how to dodge. Felicity is the only one who knows how to dodge at all. Okay. I mean, that's fine. Um, I guess I didn't realize I was going to be starting with, with, uh, with a group, so I guess... Why don't we go ahead and go out someplace? We need a car to go to a lot of places, but, uh, like, let's go to the university district. I'm gonna go to the university district in plain clothes with an AK-47. I don't see how this could possibly go wrong. We'll go to the park. We're all here. The AK-47 is somewhat suspicious. There's a telemarketer. Let's uh, step away. Okay. Well, that's too bad. I mean, I just possessed an AK-47. I wasn't actually doing anything with it. What's everybody's big deal? Let's go to the juice bar then. People just get too uptight. This table is occupied. There's a college student here. Let's fight the college student. I shot him. Blew his arm off. 
Hit his leg. Hit his body. His liver's blasted. Hit the college student's body. He gone. The hippie gets out of there and the nurse runs off. Let's see. I've forgotten how all of the different uh, things work here now. You could reload. Reload empty. Options, wait. Map. Reload. Seriously, where's loot? No. Get loot. Let's get out of here. The Liberal Crime Squad struck! Yeah, we did. Now what's our juice looking like? <sighs> he went from negative five to a whole one. We're all wanted for murder. G is get that loot. Thank you, Maxwell. All right, let's go to the university district again. The juice bar is closed down. We'll have to go to the internet cafe. Hey, Travis the goldfish. There's an engineer. Let's kill him. Get the engineer's body. He's dead. Let's get his loot. We've struck again. Let's uh take a quick look at our let's take a quick look at our location. Gosh. Z, we are not under siege at the homeless shelter yet. We could go to the D'Souza crack house or the abandoned meat plant. Ah, okay. We already run the crack house because we have a vicious gang, I guess. So, good to know. Good to know. What if we, uh... There's no... We just hanging out at the homeless shelter? It'd be good if we had... I don't know. Where are you guys? Let's see. Review our liberal crime squad. They're at the crack house. Okay. Which is the little place that they have nicely set up. So good. Let's uh, go forth to the university district again. The juice bar is open again. Well, all right. Oh, I used W. I thought it was going to be wait, and it was up, because wazed. Well, there you go. I wandered around. This isn't going to turn out well, I can tell already, but uh, that's fine. Harmonious Methods Juice Bar. S is wait. Hey, there's a teenager. Was that? Let's kill the teenager. Blew it off. Better dead than liberal. Let's get his loot. We struck again. We're getting great at this. Actually, how good am I getting at assault rifle? I mean, we're building up some juice. So there's that. Hmm. You don't have the same amount. Okay, everybody is having a slightly different amount of juice, I guess, depending on how many shots they get in. <laughs> Everybody's walking around with bloody armor, but that's okay. We're not really hiding our intentions here. 
Oh, there's another juice bar. There's just a lot of juice bars. Let's uh, run. Yep. That's the kind of thing that we do. Nothing happened to the new you do you juice bar, so we can come back. A socialite, oh, I say. Issues, dating, and bluff. Francine is our most charming person. She also has no ability to uh, recruit somebody. Neither does Rob Lombard, but he's closer. Let's go ahead and talk to the socialite and strike up a conversation about politics. You want to hear something disturbing? No? Well, maybe this yoga instructor wants to hear something disturbing. No. Well, fine. Just be glad that you're not conservative. His view were. Oh boy, alarm cry, let's get out of here. <laughs> we're really just uh, doing very, very quick strikes here. Can we invest anything in here? We don't have money to do so, but... Alright. It's all good to know. We're going to run out of money before we accomplish anything. It'll be fine. Let's, uh, let's go forth some more. Still haven't actually killed anybody at the new U Juice Bar, so it's still here. Let's kill that teenager. Hit him in the arm. Hit him in the body. He's dead. Let's get that loot. Teenager loot. How's everybody doing on ammo? You guys all have relative some amount of ammo left. Good. Captured to laugh. Let's go for stop evil again. Oh, okay. Let's go to the park then. <laughs> A soldier. Let's get out of there. Oh, there's a new internet cafe. Let's go. There's a table. There's a college student and a programmer. Do we dare fight multiple people? He who dares lives. Programmer's dead. College student's gotta be dead. College student asks for a blanket, says something about Jesus, dies. Let's uh let's look at what kind of stuff we're getting here. Review and move equipment. We're getting nothing. We're getting tattered rags. We're just getting small amounts of money from people. Which hey, great. Let's go forth to stop evil some more. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and just keep going to the park for the time being. A police gang unit. Bye.
I like that these murderers, <laughs> that these murderers with assault, one of them having an assault rifle, all of them showing up in bloody clothes every day at this one park does not, you know, that does not prompt the police to, I don't know, just start checking out this place a little more co closely. Let's go forth to uh, the park again. This park named after Mitch McConnell. Non-union worker. That's it. He's done. Conservatives are alarmed, as they should be. Okay, let's, uh, let's see. Can we go to Mitch McConnell? No, Mitch McConnell Park is broken down now. So I guess we got to go to the vegan co-op. Or the cosmetics place. I mean, people will be armed there, which could be a problem. Actually, does anybody have security? I should check that. Anybody have any security skill? You have a small amount of security skill. You have a security skill of one. No one else has any security skill. Maybe what I should be doing is going downtown to... Uh, well, no, let's go to... Yeah, let's go to these con... No. Are there apartments in the, you know, they're all housing projects. Oh, okay. That's where I see how much heat we have. We have 8% heat because we've been murdering a lot of people. It makes sense. Let's go to the housing projects. Let's try to pick the lock. Sambor unlocks the door. You know what? That's what we're doing for a little while, folks. Maybe the heat will cool off. Nope, the heat's still up. Well, I guess once it's looking like that could be a problem. Let's try to pick the lock. We can't figure it out. Pick the lock. Couldn't do it. Pick the lock. Can't figure it out. There's a high school dropout. You know what? I want to continue to be able to do stuff here, so I'm not going to kill anybody. A group of M16 wielding vigilantes. Well, it was a group of un M16 wielding vigilante and a couple other people with guns. Get it right, media. If you can't properly identify guns, you can't have an opinion about gun control. <sighs> That's right, Zerf. Fake news. 10%. Hmm. One of these days, this might, this might could become a problem. Park Street Housing Projects. Let's go. Can't figure the lockout, huh? What is my security skill at now? 1.45. One 1.89. No, 1.68. Well, there. Did that accomplish? Yes. Okay. So if you get one open, great. Police have surrounded the crack house. Surrender yourselves. You're wanted for first degree murder and other crimes. Now we have some some stuff. We're not in great position to uh, take out the police here, but uh, we can try and wait them. I gotta clean their clothes. Sniper takes out Felicity Hall. Welp. The cops are coming. Okay. Let's escape and engage them. I guess that dark leather armor did not help Felicity. That's too bad. She was the one person that had some abilities.
Well, we don't have any traps or anything, so we're pretty much just uh, looking to collect stuff that might be helpful to us and also face the police. There is an enemy. We have to fight them. They're SWAT officers. We're dead. Well, we blew that one that one off to to pieces. Hits the SWAT officer's body with no effect. Hit me in the leg. Hit me in the arm. You're breaking my leg. That one had an M4 carbine. Rob Lumber. SWAT officer looks resigned. We actually did okay that round, guys. I mean, better than I would have thought. We got the SWAT officer in the arm. Oh, well, there you go. Our founder is dead. Well, let's keep fighting because uh, we're pretty much going to die. No one can carry you. We did kill one of them. Ah, oh, dead. SWAT officer begins to weep. He's sorry that he killed the liberal crime squad. SWAT officer questions God. Nobody can carry Martyr Francine Clark. <laughs> That's right. Do I know where I am? I'm in the jungle. We just died. What is this reality? Liberal Crime Squad liberalized the country in August 2014. It took us a while, considering we apparently started in January 2009. Killed seven people, though. They took out more people than, uh, than got taken out from them. There you go. Oh, and the game just... I forgot the game just sort of explodes in death. Um, when uh, when bad things happen. Okay. Turned off the music. Hopefully its existence did not do too much damage. In what world will we pursue our liberal agenda and enter a name for the save file? How about... Violence... Violence tempered. Press any other key. Press any other key. Press any other key. Pierre Schulz from St. Paul. All right. I love it. Hey, Ald. How's it going? 2014 was the first year of, the MS, of an MS bike stream. Oh. Folks, uh, the MS Society of Canada bike stream is coming up. Uh, what is it? Uh, July. Well, Zerf will, I'm sure, be able to tell me in the chat that uh, folks in the future can't see. Uh, if this ends up going anywhere else. Let's be ready to begin. Let's say a Polish priest was kidnapped. Sure. Uh, we know 13th day of July in the year 2019. The 13th. Is that a Friday or a Saturday? Hmm. 
because it's a Saturday. Okay. Yeah, I think that may be the day after the bit of good news that we were discussing earlier goes down. So, funny how things go, isn't it? Don't jinx your stream. Don't jinx the streams. Yes, Friday the 12th. Uh, I'm going to say I knew where my toys were. I'm gonna say I was mischievous. I'm gonna say that my parents divorced violently. I'm gonna say that I started lifting weights. Things got really bad. Went to dad and he'd been a novice so drank. Things reached a crescendo when I'm going to say when uh... yeah, we'll go for the shotgun thing again. Shotgun Saturday night. Fifteen when you ran away and Hung out with thugs, beat the shit out of people. No. Started robbing houses. That sounds good. My 18th birthday. Let's say we got our hands on a sports car. Yeah. That sounds good to me. The last few years I've been Hmm. I'll say taking college courses. Why not? This time, President Greg Walsh ended. Different Walsh. I'm thinking of the America's Most Wanted guy. Is his name Matt Walsh? Because that's also the member, the name of a member of UCP. But I also thought it was the, that guy. I'm forgetting. Either way, it's President Ed Bezos! <laughs> He's asked the new Congress to move quickly to rubber stamp his radical arch-conservative agenda, and you people thought the Washington Post was liberal. <laughs> In this dark time, liberal crime squad is born. You guys can call me Pierre. Oh man, I should have changed my name to Pierre Carlolette. Let's take a look at our skills here. Ed Benzos. I have shotgun skills. Do I have any rifles? I do have some rifle skill. But I have shotgun skills, so I could survive a shotgun challenge. I have a strength of 11, and oh no, I have an agility of 11. An intelligence of 7. Strength of 6. Not super charismatic, but uh, we got some computer skills. Business, some disguise. This person's pretty cool. We have a modicum of security skill. Let's go ahead and go forth to stop evil. Um, we will start out. Hmm. Start out on the outskirts. No, we don't want to start out on the outskirts. Back a step. Although that does remind me. Let me uh, set up vehicles. Stolen Blue Sport. Press a letter to identify passengers for... Nope. A. There you go. There. Now Pierre will drive around his sports car everywhere. 
<laughs> Pierre will drive his sports car everywhere. Um, what is my driving skill, actually, now that I mention it? Do I have any? I don't have any. I stole this car and then never used it. Oh, all, all you missed was uh, I picked uh, a bunch of uh, violent options, and uh, I'd never seen this before, uh, but this is how you learn about the game. I ended up with a gang of people already. Uh, I had a couple of other thugs, all of whom had guns, and we just went out and started killing people, just one at a time. You'd, you'd, we'd find a place where there's one person, kill them, take their stuff, leave, go back out. Everything was fine until the cops, you know, wised up to uh, where we were. All right, let's go forth to stop evil. Let's go to the industrial district. Let's go to the housing projects. And we will arrive there. Let's try to pick the lock. We unlocked the door. And our security is already... No, halfway leveled up. Let's try to pick this lock. Can't quite get the lock open. But we did totally max out this security skill, so... That was a good investment of time. Let's do it again. Just got to get these. Yes, unlock a door. Unlock a door. Hmm, you looked at me suspiciously. So that was a fail at guessing no, because I'm wearing normal clothes. Pierre Schultz acted natural. He is au naturel. So, apparently going back into my habits of getting great security and... Uh, great security in disguise, even though Pierre Schulz's maximum disguise skill will not be much. Pierre Schulz has faded into the shadows again. That country boy. He never knew that we were there, or never realized that we weren't supposed to be. Let's go to the industrial district again. This does speed up things a little bit. Grant you that. See, there's our new security skill already. Let's talk to this army veteran. We don't have the highest charisma, but let's strike up a conversation about politics. Hey, I heard that you guys got us out of two world wars. Actually, I'm Pierre Schultz. Perhaps you defeated us in both of those world wars. Do you want to hear something disturbing? No. Perhaps I should have used a pick of line. I, after all, have a high strength ability, which must mean that I am. Well, it's not that high either, but... Uh, I'm agile. Surely my wiles, my movement could uh, appear from the deep. That's right. We are going to explore the far reaches of this industrial district. The Presley Street housing projects. Here we go. Let's pick this lock. What is my max security? My max security is seven. All right, that's a new level for our disguise, so let's continue to do this. Uh, Industrial district, back to the housing. We haven't actually committed any crimes yet, guys. 
we're just building up our uh, our great abilities here. We haven't done any terrorism or kidnapping or anything. We're just uh I mean we maybe have committed crimes, I don't know. Do you consider picking a lock without actually uh going into the uh room a crime? Hey guys, everything's cool here. That's right. I'm. T that's right, Zerf. I'm picking locks. I'm just selecting the locks. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, our security is not going to go up very much more by doing this. We can act unnatural, though. We boosted our disguise skill. Our disguise skill is now maxed out, so there's no more reason to be doing any of that sort of hanging out thing after we've attempted to pick locks. So let's go for it to uh, stop evil. Let's go... Actually, what is my driving skill doing now? Because I've been driving around a little bit. Wow, it's a .45. Let's go to the uh, let's go to the industrial district. Let's go to the crack house. No, I won't bother to pick it. A lot of teenagers and transients here. You know what, let's talk to this transient. This thirty they're in her thirties. Let's strike up a conversation about politics. No fine. Let's talk to this craghead. Hey craghead. Do you want to hear something disturbing? I see disturbing things in front of me all the time. There's a good old boy. You know, he says he'd never mean a no harm, but uh, that red text leads me to believe that uh, perhaps he really does mean harm. No. Jeez, you people suck. Do I have no persuasion skill? Is that what's going on here? Yeah, I have no persuasion skill whatsoever. So, why don't you, Pierre, uh, go out and solicit some donations? Yeah. No, so. No, I'm sorry. Be legal fundraising. One, to solicit donations. Yes. Do that. Now. He doesn't even earn money every day. That's how bad he is at this. But he's getting better. Conservative Crime Squad. A group of M16 wielding vigilantes calling itself the Conservative Crime Squad burst onto the scene of political activism yesterday according to his posters in the police office. And they attacked the ACLU. Quick, get persuasive. We need your help. There pretty bad. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Nothing was uh, going to change here. Actually, I suppose I should take a look at the agenda here. The status of the liberal agenda. Everything is in the middle. For some reason, I was thinking everything was going to be... I guess this isn't We Didn't Start the Fire. I guess this isn't the liberal night nightmare mode. Which I thought it was, but that's okay. In theory, that will mean that things are a little easier for us. 
Hey, Lethal. Yeah, this is in liberal nightmare mode, so uh, there's still hope for us. So now I have this uh, mild amount of uh, disguise skill. Good ability to pick locks. I have a stealth score of 2. What is my driving ability? It's not really going to matter too much, I don't think, but uh, you never know. It'd be nice to have some skills in some of these things before I start, you know. Oof. I was not able to pay the rent. You know what? Let's go downtown. Nope. Let's go to the university district. Let's go to the... Let's go to the Trudeau Apartments. Instead of soliciting donations. Ah, I live here, so... I know where things are. Well, that's handy. I'll pick the lock. I don't do anything. What? I'm totally cool. Come on, you guys. CCS Strikes, the World Peas Museum. No. Now, I was not caught stealing any of that stuff, so that's right. I got a whole two juice for stealing those things. Let's uh, go forth. Back to the University District. To the Trudeau Apartments. I live here, you guys. Why is it suspicious that I'm in here taking things? I mean, just existing. That's right, I stole two juice boxes. Unlocked the door. Grabbed a cheap suit. Ooh, that's handy. Oh, man, police officer. I'm totally fine. Don't worry about me. Let's see, with a cheap suit, there are all kinds of new places that I could go. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. What is my max security? My max security skill is 7, so there's not that much I can actually do with that. It'd be good to get a... Uh, be good to get some kind of weapons, right? I don't have any SMG skill, do I? No, I don't. I could have an SMG skill of 11. An SMG would be nice ability to have, just because it would be a weapon that I could conceal under most clothes. Let's see, February 15th, let's go forth. To our apartment building again. Boy, it's handy having a map to where all of our goodies are. Yep, laptop. I got it. It's cool, everybody. This is going to take a long time to do, but it will build us up some juice, and we'll get us money. It's 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 a slow way of earning money and juice in terms of actual like time of playing the game. In terms of actual turns, it seems like it's actually a pretty efficient way, like in game time, 
seems like it's relatively efficient. If I ever happen to find any of my own uh, kind here, maybe I could uh, do something with that. Whew, so tempting. There's a lot of stuff in here. Cheap jewelry. More cheap jewelry. We did it, everyone. I'm not learning anything from breaking these locks, am I? No, I'm really not. Let's review our assets here. My own kind, you know. Them liberal types. How is it that I ended up in this apartment building and nobody else that is... Uh, that I'm apparently the only liberal person in this apartment building. What's going on with that? Let's look at our equipment. No, oh, sorry. Gotten a lot of laptops. Hopefully. Some amount of cheap jewelry. I want to keep that uh, cheap suit, though. Yeah, I suppose I could uh, put together a slogan. Free speech, the liberal slogan. Destroy mass media. There you go. If you missed the very beginning of the stream, you also missed Compress or Destroy Mass Media. So, oh yeah, anybody that noticed that I was celebrating something, uh, I am celebrating uh, no longer being affiliated with uh, the real-life uh, variation of BobosPoliticalWebsite.com. Um, <laughs> do I have something else I'm doing right now? Not necessarily, but... There's headway on those fronts, too. Let's go forth to our apartment again. Ooh, look at all of these goodies. Hey, teen. The chef shouts an alarm at our liberal trespassing. Shit, we're guilty of a crime, you guys. I got a record now. Oh, never mind. He didn't know who I was. Ha 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 ha. Oh, hey, Kazuhiro, some of this. Boy, howdy. I got so much more juice now, though. I should probably go find some. <laughs> Nothing bad happened. That's right. <laughs> Thanks, Ald. Thanks for Zald writing. No, I mean, it, it was an unfortunate situation that I was essentially boxed into. Um, but uh, it feels <laughs> liberating <laughs> to uh, to be free of it. So there's that. 100% orange juice. I got that, and then everybody was already done playing it. Zerf, if you got 100% orange juice, that's a uh, great board game that you can have a bunch of people play. Bonus. Let's go downtown to the courthouse. You know what? Let's go to the courthouse and let's equip ourselves with a cheap suit. That's right. Dunzo. Just going to hang out outside for a little while. Police gang units, police officers, that all makes sense. There's a janitor. Scruffy, the janitor. There's a lawyer. Let's talk to this lawyer. Let's strike up a conversation about politics. Oh, come on. Let's talk to this police officer and say something sexy. Can I lick your forehead? 
Stop acting like a lost puppy. His is like a cat. Well then. Suppose I could uh, drop more pickup lines on you officers. Want to go rub one off? I'm waiting for someone. Oh yeah, I guess speech is not uh, arch conservative. Big where it counts. You're big everywhere. Badass. Badasses. Let's drop a pickup line on this lawyer. Hey, pop tart. Fancy coming to my toaster, love. High carb diet. Oh dear. Talk to this police officer. Yes, now go away. Better sleep. Okay, let's talk to uh, police officer number D. You know, if I were you, I'd have sex with me. So what you're saying is you masturbate a lot. Wags finger. Oh no, police officer wagging his finger. It's T1000! Let's talk to this police gang unit and drop a big up line. Want to play army? You lie down, I'll blow you away. Go back home, play with GI Joes. Just gonna keep dropping pick up lines. I'm gonna be wrong. You don't wanna kiss me, right? No. Try the door anyway. Our security skill is six. You try to pick the door, but is it? You try the door, but it is locked. Do you try to pick the lock? Sure. We unlocked it. Yeah, that's gonna bump up our security skill. Now it is maxed out, unfortunately. So, like that was a cool moment, but also, what do we do now? Not much. Okay. Anything in the city outskirts we feel like dealing with? We could go to the corporate headquarters in our cheap suit. Pick the lock. Who's here? Okay. There wasn't much going on there. Let's, uh, you have to learn these things, folks. Some people learn by, I don't know, studying. I'm just learning by, uh, just knocking stuff around. Hmm. Let's go to the Wired Panda Internet Cafe. We'll hang out there. Who's at the CPU? The table was occupied. There was nobody there. This computer is occupied. This computer is occupied. This table is occupied by office workers. Let's talk to this office worker about politics. Let's talk to this office worker about sexin'. <laughs> Those pants look great on the floor of my bedroom. Not after I do this. Shits his pants. Twitch is hiding this channel? Is that a thing? That officer, that 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 office worker shit his pants in order to uh, keep from having to talk to us. Let's talk to this programmer. Strike up a conversation about politics. Let's talk to these uh, baristas. Barista. Do you work for the post office? Because I could have sworn you were checking out my package. It was practically microscopic. No. Let's talk to this barista and drop a pickup line. Yes, here you go. Writes fake directions. How about this programmer over here? A neutral programmer. Stop, drop, ready, roll, baby. You're on fire. Lame. This table is also occupied. You know what? Let's just try pickup lines on. If I said you had a nice body, would you hold it against me? Yes, I can't stand liars. Crosses flabby arms. <laughs> I do enjoy some of these. 
Not going to try and pick up the 16 year old. You don't sweat much for Vegic. Oh, that's lovely. Do you have stars in your panties? Your ass is out of this world. Yes, I'm an alien, you inferior earth scum. Reaches for ray gun. I could change the alphabet. I would put the U and I together. We got a kindergarten dropout over here. Points of lapse. Okay. Let's talk to this retiree. Well, this college student is 19. You're out of focus. Should I apologize? It's too late for apologies. Slaps me. Okay. Let's, uh,. Drop a pickup line on this teacher. One of these days, we're going to find somebody who wants our love. It'll happen. Let's not talk to the 14 year old and drop a pickup line on him. Let's also not talk to the corporate manager. We can get into trouble. Hey, a programmer and a hippie. Let's talk to this hippie about politics. Not even the hippie wants to talk to us. Let's talk to this hippie and talk about uh, loving. Damn, girl. Want to wrap your legs around my face and wear you like a feed bag. Yeah, I mean, we're not the most charismatic person. We can't live our whole lives alone, though. <laughs> we may not be Fred Flintstone, but I can make you bedrock. You smell. Let's go take a shower. Nothing works. I can't help it. That makes it sad. What do you say we get behind a rock and get a little bolder? I hate puns. You suck at comedy. Everybody hates us here. Let's talk to this college student about the issues. Fine. Let's, uh, just so we don't lose our apartment... Let's go to the university district and. Nope. Gotta go shopping. Gotta go to the pawn and gun. Arrived at pawn and gun. Let's sell something. Let's pawn selectively. Let's sell that cheap jewelry. And let's sell them four laptops. And them two smartphones. Smartphones are only 20 bucks a piece. 940 bucks. There you go. We made a, we made a chunk of money in the month of February. Now we can spend the rest of February soliciting donations to try and get a little more persuasive. Congress is acting on legislation supporting the sanctity of marriage and preserving traditional gender roles. Well, we made money anyway. Persuasion of 1.18. CCS strikes. B and E's, huh? Congress is acting on legislation. Enhance prison security. Yeah, I mean, Ed Bezos is totally going to pass that. Yeah, we earned 
eighty-four dollars in donation and rent was two hundred bucks. So not great. However, how much more persuasive are we now? One point seven four. This is gonna take forever. Oh. Toll Panzer, it says it's a fallout shelter. Well that's okay. This game can't figure it out. If this uh Twitch can't figure it out, I'm not gonna fight him too hard on it. I guess I can look to see what the story is. I guess. Alright, where is, is there a fast way to switch this? Go to the creator dashboard real quick here. Category is not Fallout Shelter. Let's try Liberal Crime Squad. There you go. Update the information. Hooray, everybody! Hey, everybody, it's Ayesha. Something, something, she's going to be there for you. Say the world, y'all. Come on. Alright, let's go to the industrial district and let's go to the crack house instead of soliciting donations I just want to get someone to talk to me What's Elite Security doing here? Come on, you guys are crackheads. Is it that? How about prostitutes? Surely, you prostitutes. Come on. If I paid you, would you listen to me? What if that's my thing? Ugh. Irksome. Fine, fine, fine. I don't want to let the uh, liberal agenda get too far away from us, though, you know? But it does seem like the only way I'm going to get more people on our side. Is by... Becoming more charming. Persuasion has moved up to a two. Congress is acting on legislation. Oh, okay. Oh no, they all got vetoed. Look how persuasive now, guys. 2.25. You couldn't pay us enough. All right, so let's see. I've learned as much security and disguise as I can for the time being. I 
gained a little more persuasion. What if we went to... Hmm, What's going on downtown? Why don't we went to the latte stand? Table is occupied. There's a firefighter there. What if I drop a pickup line? Let's play squirrel. I'll bust a nut in your hole. You fuck squirrels! <laughs> Table is occupied. Let's talk to this musician about issues. Come on. Let's talk to this army veteran about sex. Let's talk to this engineer about loving. Alright, we don't have any seduction skills, so. Alright, this army veteran. I would like it very much if you would listen to me tell you about something disturbing. What? Despite our progress, this society is still strangled by its continuing legacy of racial discrimination and inequality. Whatever. Ah, oh, my heart. Did that even at least help my persuasion? No, maybe. Let's talk to this lab tech. Holy shit, you're hot. I want to have sex with you right now. I mean, holy shit, you're hot. I want to have sex with you right now. <laughs> Let's talk to this programmer. Let's play trans. You can sit on my face and I'll chew, chew, chew. You look like a biter. Let's talk to this college student. No. A dancer. Please, dancer. Talk to me about politics. In game, Bobo has a way with words. Not the right way, but a way. It's true. Thanks, Lethal. Listen to me talk to you about politics. Do you want to hear something disturbing? No. A priest. Liberal priest. Talk to us. Teacher? Leave the kids alone? Art critic. What? Homosexuals are people like everyone else, and yet they are treated in this country as if they are idiots fit only for cheap entertainment. The art critic <laughs> says, whatever. <laughs> Those gays are only there for cheap entertainment. Whatever, dude. <laughs> I'm going back to critique my art now. <laughs> Hey, a union worker, let's talk about some politics. <sighs> yeah, persuasion is not being helped by uh, a construction worky transient. running out of money but maybe it would help to spend a little longer just working on our flippin persuasion conservative strikes oh they 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 got arrested and killed at the panda internet cafe in the university district. The Supreme Court is handing down decisions. Hmm. Congress is acting on legislation. Everything is sort of staying in the middle except the President Ed Bezos is. 
messing stuff up for us. There we go. We got our persuasion up to three. Soon it will not be able to be any higher. Which isn't good news either, but let's go forth. Let's try going to that latte stand again. Let's talk to this barista. Tables occupied by people that couldn't care less. Let's talk to this teenager about politics. Let's talk to this union worker about politics. Let's talk to this rube about, you want to play army, you let down and I'll blow you away. Oh man. Come on, college student, surely you want to hear something disturbing. The government is systematically trying to rob women of the right to control their own destinies. Whatever. That's not the kind of thing that we college kids care about. Let's talk to this secretary. Let's talk to this bartender. No. Let's talk to this fashion designer. No. Musician? Nope. The government, like, knows things about you. Whatever. Radioactive waste is being stored all over the country and it poses a serious threat to many families, even in this neighborhood. Whatever. Such a sad, sad state of affairs. I don't think this mathematician is going to like what we have to say. Working more and more hours for less and less money. <laughs> I like working all these hours. Mr. Liberal Judge. Political favors are bought and sold for campaign contributions and the voting system forces two-party dominance. Whatever. I got my appointment. Let's just get out of here. Let's go forth to stop some more evil. Let's, uh... Got a cheap suit on. Where can we go downtown? I mean, there are people, places that we could go down there, but uh, we could go to these condos. Pick the lock. We unlock the door. I don't see anything in there. Hey guys, not doing anything. Fine jewelry. That's a fine bit of stuff that we just found. Hmm. Anything in there? No. What about here? No. Alright, nothing else immediately in sight. So, let's just fade away. Guess we'll do a little bit more Robin Hooding. Our security skill now can go up to 8, because I guess we did level up doing that. But was the guy screaming the end of nigh? Yeah, it's pretty much just me. Just being out there with a sandwich board say <laughs> I should just have a sandwich board that says, Do you want to hear something disturbing on it? 
that I just wait for people to come up to me, ring a bell at them, and say, the two-party system is rigged, man. Let's go to those condos again. Yeah, let's pick the lock. Anything in there? No. Hey there, Hanging Judge. I'm totally cool. Don't worry about me. Do you want to pick the lock? No, not while the security guard is standing there. Thanks. Let's get this tablet. And duck out. Alright, and our disguise skill went up a little bit more. Am I still gaining uh, any juice from doing this? Very little. But it's some. I'm still getting some. Oh, yeah, my max persuasion will be up to five now. I'm not making much of a uh, political statement here, but you know we're we're accomplishing. We're accomplishing sticking it to the man because these are uh, these are the hoi polloi of society here. I was just opening that door, Mr. Lawyer. I just noticed that uh, it was unlocked because you know I totally lawfully unlocked it. Hey, there's a prostitute here. <laughs> hey, there's a prostitute here. No. Let's keep at this. Hello, Mr. Lawyer. Would you like to talk about politics? No? Fine. Let's just be cool. Come in here. Grab these goods. Do I make that run? Sure. It's a black dress that's double damaged. Okay. Weird, but fine. There's lots of security guards here. Was there high security here and I didn't notice it before? Seems like maybe there is. Or that was just a group. Is there something disturbing? No. No, that was just it was a bunch of security guards for no darn good reason. Just a lot of people that work as security guards that uh, were, you know, all walking home from work together. They got in a couple drinks after being security guards, after security guarding. Let's get whatever this is and then leave. Do 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 Nothing's happening. Clinic murder. A doctor that routinely performed semi-legal abortions was ruthlessly gunned down. Well, that 
sad. June 24th. Hey, it's my birthday. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. Um, in 2009. It's my birthday in the past, y'all. Let's continue. Let's continue. Let's continue ticking it to these mans. Uh, no, let's not try the lock while everybody's here. No reason to suspect anything. A socialite and a psychologist. Let's talk to both of them. Thanks, sir, for my happy belated past birthday. That person didn't even seem to care that we were there. I'm natural. Yeah, was that worth it? I mean, in the sense that we didn't get caught, yes. Hooray! We'll be at 50 juice before you know it, folks. And then what? I, just, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't do anything. Okay, now I've done something. At 50 juice we drink. Mmm, juice drinks. Ooh, I'm also building up some stealth here. Let's talk to this nurse. Let's drop a pickup line. I'm not the most attractive person in here, but I'm the only one talking to you. My spells will be here soon to straighten things out. Looks for spells. Alright, so... That didn't even occur to me. I could build up some stealth here, too. I'm gonna be so sneaky. I hadn't intended to start another uh, round of being a super sneaky person, but... I would like to get these folks... I would like to get a a group together. Let's see. My stealth can be a maximum of 12, so it's already higher than my disguise skill. So we are going to start doing stealth checks from here on out. It will check whichever the highest skill is, I think. Here, shall it's actually natural. Do I want to pick the lock? No, I don't want to pick the lock. Now I do. There's nothing to be found in here? That's sad. Oh shoot, there was a dancer! Just totally should have talked to that dancer. Cable news anchor. Got cheap jewelry. Okay. Let's walk along and be much more careful about who it is that we talk to. Well, there was a liberal judge. It would have been good to talk to that person, but. Alright, we've leveled up our stealth again. All of a sudden, this is seeming like a great use of my time as opposed to what it was before. Let's be honest, I was just doing this because I was trying to think of activities that would get my character generally better at something without getting them killed. Huh. 
Hey guys. I'm gonna be a sneaky man very soon. This is great. I'm uh becoming a robot ninja gangster. Pierre, the robot ninja gangster. Faded into the shadow and acted natural. That was a bad key input, but these things happen. Don't mind me. Just coming in here to grab some silverware. That liberal judge did not care that I was here. Maybe it wasn't his home. He was just also in there breaking in. Or he's so liberal, he doesn't even care. That's possible. Let's see, 30 days, half September, half September, half September, April, June, and November. Let's go forth. We'll keep going into the Williams condos. Might be the last day of the month I decide to go sell some of these valuable goodies. Yeah, fade into the shadows. Hello, prostitute. Would you like to hear something disturbing? Katsuk, something must be done! After more discussion, prostitute agrees to come by later tonight. Great. I'll be sure to stop and get some cash. Ha ha ha. Prostitution humor. They have every right to do what kind of work they want to do, folks. Oh, I haven't leveled up my uh, stealth yet. Now I have. Valerie oh, Boyd is interested in learning more. How should I approach the situation? Let's uh, spend some money on props. Valerie Boyd is a punk. Without that much charisma, but already has some seduction skill. Uh, which would be good uh, for other people to learn. She's a crazy punk. <laughs> yes, Zerf. Like that kids in the hall prostitute sketch. You're just thinking that because uh, Pierre seems to have this kind of fraunchy voice. And that prostitute was like Quebecois. <laughs> or no, there was more than one kids in the hall prostitute sketch. The Quebecois one is not the one I'm thinking of. Or the one I was thinking of. There was the one where it's Scott Thompson where he's saying, Okay, freak, but you have to wear... It's like, marry me. Okay, freak, but you have to wear a rubber. Let's spend $50 on the props. Insightful. We'll meet again tomorrow. Good. Now let's go to the pawn shop. Santorum Pawn and Gun. Let's sell some things. Let's pawn selectively. Let's sell the cheap jewelry, both of them. Five pieces of fine jewelry. Five laptops. Three sets of silverware. Some smartphones. And some tablets. And all of a sudden, we got money. That's great. Plus, Pierre's going to end up being like a ninja by the time this is all done. Such incredible wealth for a sandwich board ninja. It's true. Well, no, it's sandwich board man. You're right, Lethal. But things are going great. Half tempted to buy a weapon. 
like a like a semi-auto or something. Hmm. I mean, if we bought a shotgun, we wouldn't be able to uh, hide it very well. But we do already have some shotgun skill. If I bought a 9mm semi-automatic... I'm trying to remember whether it's 9mm... Yeah, I feel like 9mm semi-automatics are the kind that you typically will find on, like, security officers and things like that. So, it would be easier to uh, replenish ammo. <laughs> Not that we couldn't just come by clips. Mm, something to think about for later, I guess. <laughs> you know, sir, if you ever meet Dave Foley, you're going to tell him he looks like a young Dave Foley and hopefully he says he gets that a lot. He's gotten it before, I'll tell you that much. Ugh. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Valerie Boyd thinks something needs to be done. She has a maximum dodge of one. She's not very agile, but she is persuasive. And she's got some seductiones. Nah, no, boss, you haven't missed all the stream, although, geez, it's getting late. Gotta spend props. Insightful. Congress is acting on legislation. Yeah. Oh no. Dead in Congress. Well, that's sad. Look at all this extra money we got, though. Alright, since we are still leveling up our stealth, let's go to the Williams Gondos. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Let's fade in the shadows, like we did. Pierre's turned out to be a cat burglar. This is not necessarily what I had in mind. Certainly is working out okay. Let's talk to these authors. Hey, authors. Let's talk to this other author. Whatever. This could turn out to have been a huge mistake. Turned out to be totally fine. You are an author. You have a charisma of 10. Also not very agile, but, uh, you know. You're charismatic. You have some writing skill. You actually have a writing skill of 4, which is more than theoretically your intelligence should allow. Had a driving skill too. You have some martial art. You're just. I mean, you have heart and charisma, which is nice. Never hurts to have human printing presses. I mean, I guess, but jeez. We'll go ahead and casually talk. Found my views to be insightful. You are ready to fight for the liberal cause. You know what, Valerie? Join us as a full member. Here you're to get started. Come to Pierre Trudeau's apartments as a regular member. That's right. I mean, they're still naming apartment complexes and stuff after Pierre. I mean, Justin, he's still doing stuff. So, you know, give it a while.
Now then, let's take a look at uh, Wait a minute, didn't I tell you to... Oh, jeez. I hope I didn't make you a sleeper. No, no, no. The liberals, no, Valerie's right here. For whatever reason, when I press... I guess because she's not part of the squad? Whatever. Let's review assets. Let's review our active liberals. Let's review Valerie Boyd. <sighs> she's going to be very terrible at a lot of things, but she's pretty good at seduction. So, like, you know. She knows, per she knows a bit of persuasion, too. Although, at this point, I think Pierre might actually be more persuasive. Hmm, just about the same levels. Um, I would like Valerie to teach me how to be seductive. So, maybe that's what I'll have happen here. Valerie, why don't you teach other liberals? Yes, seduction, please. That teach street sense too? No, that's a political activism thing, isn't it? Yeah. But she's got as much writing ability. She's got almost as much writing ability as the author. Now then, in order for this to work, we're gonna have to go out and continue to uh earn up money. And do nothing, bud. That's right. I faded into the shadows. I am stealth. Nicholas Houghton feels that something must be done. Let's, uh, let's chat. Views are insightful, eh? Let me see what my uh, seduction is moving up to from its current zero, I'm guessing. Mm, 0.86. Either I had already achieved some success in seduction or uh, education is just going very quickly. Maybe she's a good teacher. Oh, Miss Dancer. Mr. Dancer. Drop the pickup line. If you were a phaser, you'd be set on stun. Hey, look, a UFO. And then he gets out. Well, darn. No good stuff to steal. Don't mind me, Mr. Security Guard. Just on my way out. And Nicholas Houghton is ready to fight for the liberal cause. Yeah, I know. Nobody had any stuff. It's like it's like every day the entire bottom floor, like everyone's front room gets robbed, and they've eventually figured out. Well, this is really dumb, but I guess at the very least, if we just don't leave any valuables in our front room, then we'll be okay. <laughs> right, Nicholas Houghton is ready to fight for the liberal cause. Hmm. Yeah.
Let's keep chatting. You know what? Just casually chat with me. We'll discuss more politics. Thanks. You're going to help my persuasion skills out when we continue to do our little discussions. Point nine. One of these days I'll actually be able to talk to somebody sexfully. And our stealth is now at 12, so I can no longer just keep Robin Hooding in there and being able to sort of try and suggest, oh, well, you know, I'm, I'm still gaining valuable skills that way. So, got good skill, good stealth, good stealth, good security, good disguise, not very charismatic, not super persuasive. How much juice do I have? I have 40 juice. Okay. How good am I at uh, tailoring? That's right, not a werewolf. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be going too much longer. Uh, I have no tailoring ability. I could have a tailoring ability of 8, but I have a tailoring ability of nothing. Let's uh, take a look at our uh, other liberal here. She's teaching covert ops, and I'd rather she keep doing that. She doesn't have any tailoring ability either, though, so I'm not losing anything that way. I could gain some tailoring ability by activating Pierre Schultz and having him engage in legal fundraising by making tie-dyed t-shirts. Uh, keep talking. And the conservative crime squad struck in Redding. I'm actually not losing that much money. Considering, uh, we're teaching... Am I getting some persuasion out of this? Yeah, 3.73. So, wait a day. Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> stringing this guy along is very slowly but surely. Helping me out. And what about my seduction? My seduction is up to 1.27. Oh man. Gotta be such a sexy, sexy French German ninja. Ooh, a German ninja like Schwartz Bruder. Congress is acting on legislation. It got vetoed. Well, nuts. We are getting somewhat persuasive. Or at least as persuasive as we're going to be before we level up again. We only have one recruit, but we haven't found that many other recruits that we would really feel like having around. I mean, now that my persuasion is up to 4.5, could just attempt to go out and find more people and uh, see whether or not we can find any other folks that have uh, enough agility to be able to keep up with us in our stealth, our security, and our disguise. Well, the security is... that's an intelligence score thing, but the stealth, and then eventually we might want some gun abilities. Let's uh let's go to latte stand.
table is occupied by a college student. A mathematician. Do you want to hear something disturbing? In the name of the war on terror, we sacrificed our soul by letting the government torture and abuse human beings on our behalf. Whatever. C'est en ébouer. Bonjour. The police regularly torture minority suspects during interrogations. We have to do something. It's true, man. Hmm. Let's talk to this black belt. Let's drop a pickup line. Oh no. Let's talk to this socialite about politics. Industries that stop at nothing to become more profitable are polluting the environment in ways that are not only animals but people too. She doesn't really seem to care. Let's talk to this gang member about politics. Would have been nice to have that uh, gang member on our side. How about this nurse? How about this union worker? We already have an author that we are stringing along. Ooh, ooh, Mr. Liberal Judge Lady. Nope. You know, I thought about trying to chat up that crackhead, but I mean, we've got somebody we're stringing along in order to gain uh Let's talk to this doctor about politics. Nope. In order to gain a little bit of extra persuasive juices. I don't think those liberal judges are really uh, that into what it is that we're laying down, which is too bad. Yes, an athlete. Would you like to hear something disturbing? Jeez, what's with this athlete not wanting to hear disturbing things? That's right. We're just going to do this roundy round for a while. I already have a prostitute on the uh, Liberal Crime Squad. Right now, the Liberal Crime Squad is a French-German ninja and a prostitute. really hoping for some, you know, people with special skills. Oh, there was a there was a gang member I just went right past. There was a liberal judge I just went past, but the liberal judges do not seem to be really talking to us very much. I suppose we should still try. Do you want to hear? Oh. Army veteran. Let's strike up a conversation about politics. Burning a piece of cloth is actually stigmatized in this country. You can love freedom and still hate what our government stands for. Whatever. Might not have been the best one to use with the army vet. They did a lot of fighting for what the country stands for, after all.
Lissai. Let's talk to this doctor. He doesn't even want to hear what we have to say. So he can get past the initial check of Side duck way. Let's get out of here. Oh, that's right. We talked to our pod Greenberg. He has some tailoring ability. That was actually one of the things that I was uh, attempting to learn. Not a great guy, but hey, you're ready to fight for the liberal cause. Great. Let's go forth. Well, no, wait, wait, wait. First, I want to see what is my tailoring. It's 199. It's almost 2. What if I attempted to make recruitment and acquisition? What if I attempt to make some clothing? <laughs> You'll conquer Panoia. Yeah, I don't want to. I mean, a black cat suit would be very good to have. I was I was thinking something like a security uniform, but uh, looks like that's going to be very difficult for us still. Half cloth if half cost if you have cloth. A ninja costume. That would be great to have. I suppose I could just go buy some, couldn't I? Uh four grand? Yeah, why don't we just do that? I don't have to do everything myself. Let's uh Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Let's go forth. Let's go shopping. Alright, let's go to the pawn and gun because I got some things to sell too. So let's sell. Let's pawn selectively. We got some cheap jewelry, a laptop, some silverware, smartphone, and a tablet. I guess it wasn't that much. All right, uh, done pawning. Tools, what tools are there here? Bottle rag and gasoline, a crowbar, and a git fiddle. No, I'm not working with any of those. Let's leave. Now let's go shopping again, but we'll go to the oubliette. See what kinds of cool costumes there are. Purchase Halloween costumes. You get a black judge's robe, get some bondage gear, elephant suit, a mask. Buy work clothes, a lab coat. Hmm. If I got a lab coat, that would be good. Let's buy a lab coat. Favorite place to execute people, and I don't want to take an opinion hit. Oh. This is a different thing. He swears fealty to you, you could have the whole Carpathian Basin as your vassal. Now, not side duck. Let's see. Get some, get some work clothes. And uh, maybe get a judge's robe. That was a lot of stuff to get. That's all right, we'll leave. Our pod is ready to fight for the liberal cause. I don't know. I'm going to keep stringing both of you on. Now then, 
They might be Crusaders King, Crusader Kings too. <sighs> that and Stellaris are two games that look like they would be interesting, but also look like they're pretty in depth, and they require better eyes than I have anymore. The text in those games is very tiny, especially if you are watching it from far away, uh, like on your living room television, which is a way that I will often watch videos. Um, Let's equip the squad in a lab coat. No, actually, let's equip the squad in work clothes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, boo, boo. It's true. We'll go for it to stop evil. And we'll go into the industrial district. And we'll go to the plastic factory. Time to do something here. Let's pick the lock. Doo -doo -doo. Found a weird chemical. Hey, it's a bunch of Union Brothers. You guys are all right. Sure are a lot of weird chemicals here in the plastic factory. Alright, so far I'm not wanted for anything. Let's destroy this industrial equipment. I'm wanted for vandal. How did you even know it was me? Let's destroy that. Linseed oil can spontaneously combust? Well, that's interesting. I'm gonna fade in the shadows. Bye. Let's keep chatting. The Liberal Crime Squad has struck again. The events took place at the plastic factory. Further details are sketchy, but police sources suggest that the LCS engaged in theft, destruction of private property, and unlawful entry. Okay, there's still no heat on the Trudeau apartments, though. So that's great news. How is my uh, seduction coming? One and a half. Ooh, lordy. What is your seduction? Your seduction is four, so we're still not getting a whole lot accomplished there, but that's fine. Oh man, I'm getting so much more uh, just from these three counts of vandalism. Okay. Actually, that leveled us up, didn't it? So I have the ability to uh, level up that stealth security and disguise a little bit more if I really want to. Hey. Eh? Senior citizen cruise levels of seduction. Yeah, we're almost there. Okay, let's equip the squad. Let's get back into our uh, cheap suit. And we will go forth to fight evil at the Williams condominiums. Why is the cheap suit red? That is... Yes, that is an appropriate outfit for this area. No. Head into the shadows again. Like I do. And some cheap jewelry. There we go. One of those.
I mean, part of the problem with being so stealthy as I am is, well, let's keep stringing you guys along so that I get more, is that uh, it's going to be harder to upgrade my disguise ability now because I'm just so dang stealthy. People don't even see me to be fooled by my great disguise. I'm not going to try to pick the lock in front of these folks. So darn stealthy I might have been able to do it. That's right, no one can see me, John Cena. And we've leveled up everything that we're going to level up here. And our stealth and security, our stealth, security, and disguise are already all the way back up at the top of what they can possibly be. So, that's a thing. I guess that means that we need to, uh, let's see, we need to equip ourselves. What happened if we put on some more work clothes again, and then went forth back into the industrial district again? Oh no, it's high security at the plastic factory now. Well, shoot. All right, we'll go back one step. How's my driving skill doing? I'm doing so darn much driving. Almost a three. But fine, then let's go for it to stop evil someplace else. Let's equip our uh, judge's robe. Yeah. This is a good idea. Enter. Done. We will go forth to the police station. Police station! Don't mind me, I'm just a judge. This is a terrible idea. I will fade into the shadows. There was a smartphone. I just found some police records. I'm still just wanted for vandalism, yeah? Okay, so... Finding some guns. That's useful. Those were those semi-autos that I was thinking about having. Let's fade into the shadows. Our amazing stealth ability. Uh-oh, the conservatives are suspicious. Let's retreat into the shadows. We can always hide in the shadows. Ooh, now if I equip myself right now with a 9mm semi-auto, it helped have some, uh, some clips, huh? You ready to fight for the liberal cause? Cool. You are also ready to fight for the liberal cause? Cool. I don't know if I'm ready for you to start killing people just randomly yet, though. I mean, obviously I'm not in the sense that you're going to need to go get some clips. Nine millimeter pistol magazine. 
That's all you got? You don't sell 9mm uh, semi-auto magazines? Or is that... Yeah, there. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There you go. Well, 9. Great. Let's, uh... I have stuff to sell, don't I? Yeah, let's pawn select it. We got, uh, we got some cheap jewelry, some laptops. We've already paid for the, uh, those police records could be worth something. I'm done pawning. Now I have a semi machine gun, not really a machine gun. It's okay. I should check real quick to see how how much heat is on us. No heat right now that we're aware of, I guess. Let me bear that in mind. We don't know what the heat situation is because uh, we don't have anybody on the inside. I'm still working on my awesome seduction abilities. I mean, I now have a better potential seduction level than our prostitute friend, but uh, haven't realized that dream just yet to be as seductive as this prostitute that's not especially charismatic. It's okay. Some people like that. There's no way, um, let's see, learn in the university district, criminal law, unaware of the heat situation. <laughs> yes, burning a linseed oil would do that. Or boiling linseed oil. Hmm. Painting, theater, kung fu, gymnastics, writing, music, locksmithing, computer science, fencing, weaving, religion, baseball, police procedure, basketball, stealth. What is police procedure gonna be street smarts street sense something like that basically what we're getting at here is that uh, there is no class that you can take that costs sixty dollars a day where you can just shoot at cans and get good at guns that's a it's a thing you just have to learn on the go Okay. It's good to know. Is the, let's see here. Plastic factory is still high security, so let's not uh, try to do anything there. We'll go back a step. Let's equip ourselves with a lab coat on our 9mm semi. We will go for it to stop evil in the university district you just pop in pop some fools and book it I mean it is but uh, I mean right now if you look at our uh, look at our criminal record we have three charges of vandalism and that's all we've got all that stuff that we've been stealing nobody's noticed so it's been perfectly fine the vandalism automatically gets noticed and they automatically know it's you for reasons. Murder probably will also be the same same situation. Try not to get myself killed before, I don't know, I have a uh, pretty good grasp of the sitch. There 
No witnesses, nothing bad happened. You say that, and yet, we have these charges of vandalism. Nobody noticed us. Huh. Oh yeah, how much, how am I doing for heat? Not bad. Let's go to the university district and go to the cosmetics. Look at all this stuff. I didn't write my name on the walls. Of course they know it was you. No. I didn't do any spray painting this time. Acting natural? Oh, well. I don't know what I'm hoping to find in here. Let's free the fluffy white rabbits. That's another count of vandalism. Pierre was here. Wah, 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 wah. Now, how is uh, vandalism doing for me? Vandalism is not doing half bad. There was a cage inside this door. Ha ha ha. Yeah, I was wondering when uh, people are going to start getting alarmed. Yeah, they don't know that it was me. I wrote my name on the bunnies. Why did I write my name on the bunnies? That seems cruel to them. Okay, there was one more cage over here. I'm gonna break your rusty cage! Nice. Leveled up again. I'm gonna be so ding-dong stealthy by the time this is all done with. Nobody's ever going to be able to see me. I'm going to be the most John Cena. No, actually, that literally just happened. I'm hoping some of you will look at my disguise. None of you are looking at my disguise. It's such a good disguise. Oh. Just got a text from Bean. Said, oof, it got late. I mean, it did get late. Let me see. All right. Too stealthy to appreciate my cosplay. Yep. I made the papers. Yeah, things are going okay, except for the fact that now. Well, cosmetics places at high security. We still do not appear to have any heat at our location, but I don't think that's actually going to be true. It can't be. It just can't be. Let's go back a step. Let's go to the industrial. The plastic factory is still also... And I never had to fire a single shot, so that's great. Just load it up. 
and uh, just wandered around. Nobody had to know I was packing that heat. Anyhow, let's take a quick look at our character. I do. Hmm. You know, I'll go ahead and and uh, maybe do a couple of more. Let's do a couple more runs of the condo. Go ahead and equip my cheap suit for that. Just level up our abilities again. Don't mind me, y'all. People are paying attention to my, uh, to my disguise here, though. That's nice. All right. Skies level up. And stealth is at its max. Just got to get security up. So, let's see, August. Level. Yeah, we're, this is, we're not moving the needle on any of the, uh, on any of the causes so much right now. We've got a heck of a founder here. Fading into the shadows. Fading into the shadows. Always fade into the shadows. Sometimes we act casual. Okay. Anyone? Ooh, a doctor. Let's talk to this doctor. The audacity of me talking to this doctor right in front of the security guard. Faded into the shadows. What about talking to this nurse? There, that got me an act natural. Talk to this lawyer about politics and things. We faded into the shadows. Let's talk to this dancer. Let's drop a pickup line on her. At least then you'd be liquidated. Wow. That's, uh. That's something else, ain't it? Oh, our disguise skill is maxed out. What the hell am I doing? You guys are ready to fight for the liberal cause. I appreciate your, uh, and let's see. Oh, it's 10.5, so, you know what? I get the feeling we're probably not learning that much from doing more breaking in right there, are we? Let me equip our black robe. Yeah. From there, we are going to go downtown. We are going to go to the courthouse. Yeah. Let's uh, drop a pickup line on this police officer.
let's talk to this lawyer about politics. Got anything to smoke on yet? <laughs> sure, come by later. I appreciate that. Let's talk to these police officers. My uh, seduction is still a 1.75, so this probably is not going to go that well, but let's pick this lock. Yeah, that got us a security point. Lori Delaney, a lawyer, is interested in learning more. Lori actually has a high agility and a high intelligence, and pretty high charisma, too. I am hopeful, of course... Our persuasion being what it is, we might not be able to uh, keep this going. But I am hopeful that if we spend money on props and books, that will work out. I would like to have that person as a part of the team. Let's go downtown to the courthouse again. Let's talk to these police officers. I would like very much to have a police officer as a uh, non-conditional love slave, just because then I would know uh, what the cops were thinking about. Oh, our uh, security skill is uh, maxed out now. Spend 50 bucks. You want to know more? Great. You want to know more? Cool. Oh, Kaz, I'm not going to go very much longer. I can't. I couldn't possibly. I mean, I shouldn't be going right now, but had a couple of exciting developments. For one, I juiced up to another level. I still only have one recruit, one other recruit, but uh, that's kind of, you know kind of is what it is. Let's see here though. Let's re-equip. Actually no. Let's take a look at what's available to do right now. Plastic factory is still high security. The cosmetic shop is still high security. Here is a stick of juicy fruit. He's got his robe shined up. Grab a stick of juicy fruit. Speaking of juicy fruits, let's uh, let's strip you, and let's also take that nine millimeter semi-auto off of you. Press a number to drop your weapon. There you go. Now you're a nudiman. Let's go for it to stop evil at the garment makers. Let's pick the lock. That's a fine cloth right there. I'll pick this lock. I'll pick this. Well, there's no lock to be picked there, but I would have done it. All right, let's destroy some equipment. Anything else right around here? I am not even going to release those guys because Oh no. This is a thing that can happen. Get out. We're sorry. Lori Delaney is ready to fight for the liberal cause. And now I have a charge of theft. It was just vandalism. Now I got a charge of theft. Before now, 
there's no record or no indication anywhere that Pierre had ever stolen anything. Lori Delaney, you're going to join the LCS as a full member. Come to the Trudeau Apartments. You guys continue to help me build up my ability to but as is reported here in the phrase, destroy mass media. All right, so let's take a look at our uh, brand new active liberal here. Lori Delaney. For somebody with no juice, starting out with uh, intelligence and agility of nine, a charisma of six, that's not bad. Um, some tailoring skill. And six points of law, which is would be nice for Lori to teach. It would also be good for Lori to pick up some of the old tricks of the trade by doing a little bit of cat burglary with Pierre. Want for vandalism. Oh no, I guess uh, they didn't notice the theft or they didn't care about the theft. Just 19 counts of vandalism. Well, okay. You have no juice. You got no juice. You're wearing a cheap suit. But Pierre is naked, so this is all very, very sensical. Thinking about adding uh, Lori to Pierre's crew. So that she can go out and uh, obtain some new skills with him. Just go learn at the feet of the master, you know. So actually, let me do that. Let's uh, a yeah. Lori, get in there. And now. Let's equip Pierre with a cheap suit as well. Yeah. You can also get a 9mm semi-auto. Guess I'll give one to Lori too. Cursors. Increase or decrease ammo allocation. Pierre has no spare clips. There you go. I, where did I pick up semi clips? It's all right. Now they both have nine millimeter semi autos and cheap suits on. I feel good about this. Go forth downtown to the condos. All right, so you have maybe not been the best at this. That's all right. Let's keep casually discussing things here. You've already gained another point of security. You don't know anything about stealth. You have the ability to know a lot about stealth, but you don't know anything about stealth. There's nothing to be stolen in here, is there? Okay. You have not learned anything about the skies yet.
Ooh, an athlete. You have good discussion on issues and bluffing. You're getting better at dating, Pierre. Why don't you have a discussion with this athlete? Talk about some politics. Political favors are bought and sold for campaign contributions and the voting system enforces two-party dominance. Boo. Squad acted natural. There you go. You know what? If this is the uh, issue that we're going to run into right now, it would actually be helpful for Pierre to also teach. Let's teach. Oh, man. I want you to teach stealth. And then we'll have to go back in and reform. What? Yes, review the Liberal Crime Squad. We're going to have to take Pierre out of the Liberal Crime Squad. Lori is going to have to go out there and learn all this business on her own. Okay. So let's now go forth. You know what? You're still getting started. You're a you're a baddie at this, so there you go. You just act natural. Now then. Where are the best goodies to get? Grab a laptop. Good job. That's all you needed to do. You're not going to learn anything else here. And why don't you again go to the University District, to the Trudeau Apartments. But you already have another point. Why so suspicious? Okay, that's not going to work. And there you go. Play it cool. You got a cheap dress and a kitschy trinket. For your efforts. Are you learning anything about dodge, Lori? Or stealth? You are learning a little bit about stealth. It's going to take a while, but you've got some point of stealth now, which may mean that you will eventually be able to learn that on your own. Just, you know. But also learning a little bit about driving a little bit. Look at all this. These are great things that are all happening here. That dancer did not care that I was here. That's cool. Anything else in a very easy to get location? And you got that security skill up. Proud of you. Uh oh. 
You're alarmed. Run away. Let's see. You don't have the best persuasion. You don't have the best dodge either, but... Provided that the music critic is not heavily armed, we should still be able to escape this situation alive. Oh, you have to use Wazd for this. Ooh, we did a little dodge. Lori Delaney jumped aside at the last moment. Yeah, I was where I ran away screaming. All right, Lori, does that mean you have a record now? Nope. What happens in these places just does not matter. Why don't you drive? You can learn driving both by hearing about it and by doing it. It's the best way. University District, let's keep going to those Trudeau apartments. I like the idea that it would be under high security and they wouldn't let us into our own apartment. Everything's cool, guys. Don't worry about it. Well, you leveled up the uh, abilities that I wanted you to. Security and disguise. Dodge. We're just going to learn elsewhere, I think. Well... Wait, no, it's not dodge, it's stealth that I was hoping to check out. And yeah, there's no way that we're going to learn. Well, we're learning dodge at a reasonable rate, I guess. No, I keep saying dodge. It's stealth that I want to know, and we're not learning that at all. I mean, we're learning it, but we're only learning it from being in school with Pierre. Which reminds me, how is Pierre's persuasion ability? Still not as high as it can be, so we are still gaining something from going out there and, <clears throat> you know, uh, talking to these people over and over who are totally ready to fight for the liberal cause, and it's totally going to happen, guys. Anyhow, I am getting into this. It is very good. It's a lot of fun. But I'm going to go ahead and have to call it a video here because it has gotten entirely too late considering I know that little baby Bronco is going to wake up at 6 a.m. He just has a remarkable internal clock. Um, and he was in a terrible, terrible mood today. I think teething is starting to happen. Um, so it's not going to be fun. It's going to be even less fun if I don't have any sleep under my belt. Because he's not going to let me sleep during the day. I'm not going to be able to go back to bed after I feed him. Six. He's going to be like, hmm, I might lie down for a hot minute. He won't sleep for more than half an hour or 40 minutes during the day. It's weird. Anyhow. It's no way to live. In terms of if you wanted to take a nap. <laughs> Thank you, Dragon Chaos, uh, for thanking me for the stream. This was good fun. Uh, take a look and see if there is anybody still online that uh, I would be interested in uh, hostowing. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Why don't I... Let's see. Let 
Why don't I look up how it is you raid people in Twitch again? Oh yeah. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to set up a raid here. I am going to set up a raid for Gunstar Heroes. Because right now, I believe he had promised he was doing a stream on the Sega Pico. And you guys know I love Pico. He's a brutal mass murderer from the from the F-Zero universe. So i got to set up a raid for Gunstar Heroes right now. And uh, you guys go get involved. I will, uh, I will see you all later on. Have good nights. Take good care. Bye-bye.